Hello boys and girls. We are going to be looking at multiplication of days and weeks. Now remember, 7 days equal 1 week. 1 week equal 7 days. Good. What does this mean? It means that for me to get 1 whole week, I must have 7 days, right? So if I say I have two weeks, then for me to get find out how many days are in two weeks, I'm going to multi add seven and seven, which gives me 14, or I can multiply seven by two to give me 14. So there are 14 days in two weeks. Now let's move on. We are going to look at multiplication of the days and weeks all right let's look at our first example we have seven weeks and five days multiply by three days all right how do we go ahead and solve this we are going to be multiplying <clears throat> three and five then three and seven all right now let's go step one Step 1 says we are to multiply 3 and 5. Now when I multiply 3 and 5, this will give us 15. Now I cannot take this entire 15 and put it here at the bottom because this is 15 days. Good. So what it means is that I will have to take this 15 days and I will have to change it into weeks and days before I can go ahead and write anything here at the bottom. Now, how many weeks, how many days did we say make a week? Seven. We are going to use the seven days that we know about to change this 15 days into weeks. Now we can do that by dividing by seven good notice i'm doing it at the side so i'm dividing 15 by 7 we need to find out how many times can 7 go into 15 good now if we use our timetable the closest number to 15 if we're using our seven times table the closest number to 15 would have been 14 and we know that 7 multiplied by 2 gives us 14. So I'm going to write 2 up here. Okay? So 2 times 7 gives us 14. Remember long division? So I'm going to subtract 14 from 15. Now 4 from 5 gives us 1. 1 from 1 gives us 0. So we are now left with 2 and a remainder of 1. What does that mean? Alright, we have just converted 15 days into weeks and days. So what we get is that this 2 is 2 weeks and this 1 is 1 day. So when we change 15 days to weeks and days, we will get 2 weeks and 1 day. Now what am I going to do? So, we are going to take our two weeks and our one days and we are going to transfer it here. So, we have to put days under days, weeks under weeks. So, I'm going to take my one day that I have here and put it right here at the bottom. Good. Then, I'm going to take my two weeks and I'm going to put it right over here. So, I have two weeks and seven weeks here. So I can now go ahead and multiply 3 and the 7. 3 times 7 will give us 21. And then I'm going to take my 2 and add it to 21. So it is 21 plus 2, which is equal to 23. Good. So I'm going to take this 23 and I'm going to put it here at the bottom. Good. So let's look at it. So when I multiply 7 weeks and 5 days with 3, I will get 23 weeks and 1 day. So let's look at our next example. We have 9 weeks and 2 days multiplied by 3. Good. 
remember we multiply the bottom number with the days and then with the weeks all right now let's go three multiply by two that will give us what it will give us six so let me write the six here at the side but when i look at this six i will notice that my six is less than seven and i need seven days to make a week good so because this six is less than seven i will not do anything to it i am not going to change it to any weeks or do anything to it because it is less than seven and we need at least seven days to change all right so i'm going to take this six and i'm going to write it here once i've done that i can go ahead and now multiply my weeks with three three times nine will give us 27 i go ahead and i write my 27 therefore when i multiply nine weeks and two days with three our answer will be 27 weeks and six days let's try one more so now we have five weeks and four days multiplied by five good again we start with everything in the days column before we go to the weeks all right so let's go ahead five times four will give us 20 so i'm going to put my 20 here is my 20 less than seven or more than seven now because it is more than seven I will have to change this 20 days to weeks and days. So remember how we do that? We are going to divide by 7 because 7 days make a week. 7 into 20, how many times can 7 go into 20? Good. It can go 2 times. 2 multiplied by 7 will give us? 14 let's take away four from nothing i can't so i will take one from here now this will become 10 now we can say four from 10 and this will give us six one from one will give us zero good so I am now left with a 2 at the top and a 6 at the bottom. So I'm going, going to go back to my problem. The 2 at the top is weeks. The 6 at the bottom is days. So I take my 6 and I put it by days. Alright. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take the 2. I'm going to take the two and I'm going to put it by weeks. So I can now say five multiplied by five is 25. 25 plus two is equal to 27. So I will write 27 right here. So this now becomes five weeks and four days multiplied by five will give us 27 weeks and six days good now go ahead and try the rest on your own